All right, so your first standard you're going to be working on. Wait, before I get started, everyone has their notebooks out. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what you're first going to write down as your topic. Solve equations with one variable. Standard one, you can substitute it as S1. Or you can write standard one. That's what you're first going to be working on. So by one variable, that means in an equation, I'm just going to write this up now, dx is equal to 4. That's one variable in your equation. All right? Another example is. In this equation, there is still one variable, and that variable is still x, because they're the same. It's only one variable. If it was two, it would be x and y, three, x, y, and z, so forth. All right? steps. You can still figure the sides right first, next, and last, but you don't have to do that. All right, steps one, two, three. So the first step is to simplify both sides of the equation. In your next step, or the second step, you'll be combining like terms. And then for your last step, you'll be isolating the variable. All right. Give you a second to write that down before you move on to the next step. seconds, I can see some pencils, no good. So this is the first example we're going to work on. Mm -hmm. Write the example down for me, please. We're going to work on two examples today. The second one being a little bit more difficult. But I heard you guys are like the best class, so I shouldn't have any issues there. I really did say that I know you all express. You should see me. All right, so what we're first going to start with is a line down the middle. That way you're splitting both sides. You know where everything's going to be. So first step, I'm going to be on this side. I'm going to do uh, distribute three times x. Take this, 
positive, negative five, sorry. <laughs> negative five x, what am I supposed to do against it? Add five? Yeah. <laughs> but I do one side, I have to do the other. All right, these cancel. Three x and five x. Negative six, keep the sign. Two more line terms. Positive 18 and negative six. Okay, so for this, we're going to subtract 18 on this side. This marker is not really working as well. I'm just going to do one more time. Minus 18, then minus 18 on the other side. Get this class on top of it. <laughs> um, yes, negative 24 is equal to negative 24. And we're going to bring this 8x down. All right. So now, to separate 8 and x, I have to divide. Divide. Divide by 8. Oh, that is terrible. Negative 24 divided by 8 is? Negative 3. Alright. Negative 3. And then you just you plug this number back in here and here. It'll come out to be the same number. Alright, now move on to the next example. Does everyone have that written down? about this example than the other Exactly. Alright, so before we start this, there's another pre-step before we do the first two steps. So off to the side, you can do a star, you can do an asterisk, whatever, and write down um, cross. Five 
examples that you're gonna do on your own or you can do with a partner. But I'm gonna bring those up and then. Before you move or anything, either you can take a picture of it to get on your phone, you zoom in like that, or copy the five into your notebook, then, then move them all together. Or you can work by yourself. But it's homework if you don't finish it. I'm checking tomorrow for all of these. So even if you finish today, I'm not going to check the notebook until tomorrow. So work on these. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Good job. Um, no, you can leave it. Because when it don't go to the front ones in the next Thank you guys for being quiet. Appreciate it. <laughs>